Well, out here digging up my yard, run into a little bit of a problem. Supposed to be a second handle there. What do you want, dog? Hmm? What do you want? Oh, yes. So we're gonna take this thing in the garage and we're gonna see if we can fix it up with some handles. It's pretty old anyway, so get some new handles put on it real quick like before the sun goes down and I run out of daylight to finish digging up all that. Alright, so I looked through my shed. Any metal I have to make metal handles is either too big or too small. Nothing that's going to come close to this. Like way overkill, like channel iron or like quarter inch round stock. It's just not going to work. And I don't have any wood around here that's, that's worth making handles out of. And the handles, they've got to support some weight. So the wood I have has been outside for a few years and kind of rotted, you know. It's good for uh, using as a walkway between my house and my garage this last winter. But uh, that's about it. So I think I'm going to run over to hardware store, grab a couple handles for a wheelbarrow and put a couple new handles on here. Hopefully they have some decent wooded handles at the hardware store. So, all right. Just like that, I'm back. Got a couple handles, a couple wooden handles. They're pretty stout. I think they're about 12 bucks a piece. So, I had some metal handles there, but the metal handles have a plastic end that looks like it's just sleeved on the, the back end here, just barely. And it looked like it was, looked like the little plastic handle was just gonna pop off the end. So, I went with the wooden ones. We'll see how they work. I mean, this wheelbarrow is, I don't even know how old this thing is. I'm eight, nine years old. It's been sitting out in the weather. So, handles were definitely due. If you've never done a handle on a wheelbarrow, hang out. We're gonna pop these old handles off. We've got one good handle to use the holes. And pop that good handle off of there. We're gonna line it up next to these two handles, mark out where we need to drill the holes, drill the holes out, cross our fingers, that those bolts are still going to be long enough. Because that's the one thing I didn't buy is new bolts. But hopefully they're long enough and they fit through these handles and it all goes back together just spiffy like. So we'll get that other handle off there, get it up here and show you how to mark it up, get it all drilled out. Hang out for a few. So there's not much to replacing a wheelbarrow handle. As long as you have an old one as a template to transfer your holes over, mark your holes where they go, and to know what size hole to drill, you're pretty well set. These handles are a little bit stouter, a little bit longer, but they're going to work. So I'm going to transfer these or mark where these holes go. I got the one in the front going the opposite direction for that support bar. Get those holes transferred over, get them drilled out. See if I can get this thing put back together here pretty quick while the sun's still up and I can still get some work done. So that was a 3 8 drill bit. It's probably common size for a wheelbarrow, I'm guessing. 
So it's not an uncommon sized drill bit. If you have a set of drill bits, you'll probably have a three, three eighths drill bit in there. So just in case you're wondering what size of drill bit I, I was using, that's it. So I have run into a slight problem with the bolts and the bigger studs. All of them fit, except for the ones that hold the wheels on. They're too short, they barely fit through. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to, I'm going to notch, I'd say about a quarter inch out with a grinder. Because I'm a wood hack. It's fun. It's okay. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hang on a minute. So I got that notched out, nice and pretty, with that little uh, air grinder I've got. I smeared some good old motor oil on there to bring out the luster of that wood. Mm. Motor oil on wood, sure does look good, huh? Now I put some oil on there into cap oil just to keep some of the moisture out of the wood. I don't know, I don't really care that much, it's a wheelbarrow. But, I could have bought new bolts. That is true, but that's another trip to Home Depot. For uh, about $5 worth of bolts, I'm gonna spend about $15, $20 in gas. So I decided not to do that. So I went ahead and notched it out, made the bolts work. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Don't be afraid to improvise a little bit. Don't be afraid to get out there and, and try something. Wheelbarrow handles, pretty easy to do. Be surprised by how many people won't do it because they're afraid of screwing something up. But if it's already broken, it's already broken. You can't screw it up, right? So, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Everybody needs to hit that like button. Help my channel get out there, help more people see it. Please hit the like button. You can't hurt you none, right? But I'll see you next time. I'll put out another couple videos sometime, maybe next weekend. Maybe halfway through the week I'll do another video. I don't know. Anymore, it's kind of a toss-up, so have fun, guys. Be safe.